Who's Pal-V? Pal-V is a Dutch company that's manufacturing cars that can fly. They're making a car that you can drive from point A to point B, park in your garage, parking spot, wherever, or you can make a flight plan and decide if you want to fly somewhere instead. So this car can drive 1,325 kilometers or fly 500 kilometers on a full tank. And how much goes in a tank? That's 100 liters. So with that said, you know how far you can go. For example, from the Netherlands to outside of the Netherlands, if you want to fly, you can go from Amsterdam to Paris. And if you want to drive, that's basically from Amsterdam to Paris and Paris back and almost Paris again. That's how far you can go on a full tank. For our American friends, think of it as driving from New York City to Philly to get a cheesesteak. You can fly from NYC to Philly back again. And if you're still hungry, go back to Philly before you have to fill up. So it has quite a bit of range on it. And I think it's quite useful. It's not only useful for driving or flying, but if you think about it, you don't have to go to the airport, stand in line, check your bags and... Get a corona test. <laughs> <laughs> also, to just go from one place to another, you can just jump in your car and be like, I'm out. And for takeoff, you only need 250 meters. For landing, you only need 30 meters and that's about like 98 feet. So. I would say I would skip the line at the airport. Since we're talking about our takeoffs and landings, the Pal V Liberty does actually have a license plate for the road and in the air. So you have one license plate on the back and you have one on the side, which basically makes your vehicle register for road and air use. Not only does it need two different license plates, but it also needs two different insurances. Hovey made this insurance that it's actually one insurance and it covers both. So it covers when you're a car and it covers when you're a plane. A flying machine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a little bit into the design of the Pal V Liberty because it's a flying car, but it's not a car plane like I would think many of us would imagine right away when we hear that a car that can fly. It's a car that's also a gyrocopter. A gyrocopter is a vehicle with propellers on the top and in the rear. The propeller in the rear is to push the craft forward. The propeller on top, similar to a helicopter, is actually used for the lift that allows the Pal V Liberty to fly. The forward movement from the engine is what allows you to take off. Once you're in the air, the second engine, oh, we forgot to mention, that the Pal V Liberty does have two engines, which technically allows it to be able to fly over water legally. You'll be able to make those kind of flights as well if you wanted to go, say, from Florida to the Caribbean. You could, depending on the distance. Let's talk about the design. My first thought about the design was like, wow, I thought that was bigger. And <laughs> what I did like about the design is that the Pal V logo was slightly everywhere over the car but it wasn't extremely noticeable i think that it gave a real good touch to it i also liked all the carbon fiber that was on it i love the carbon fiber you love the carbon fiber i love the carbon fiber <laughs> i think everybody loves carbon fiber that i think so is too. into cars in general but it also helped keep the weight down on the Pal V Liberty, which is, I think it was 650 kilograms. So now that we kind of gave you all an overview of the Pal V Liberty and what it's about, let's talk about our pros and cons. Even though the Pal V Liberty is that light, which is truly incredible and it's an engineering feat, it's actually quite safe nonetheless. The carbon fiber, as we all know, is a super strong material, but you still need a sort of a iron cage to protect the passengers inside. And along with that, being the fact that it has two engines, it allows it to be legally allowed to fly over bodies of water, as well as having the propellers on top, which act as a parachute for the Pal V Liberty. So even if one or both of the engines that's in the Pal V Liberty fail, you'll essentially float back down to earth or glide with style like Buzz Lightyear and 
come back down to the ground, be in one piece, and be able to tell a story about it. Since this car has two engines, one is meant for flying and one is meant for driving, it always has a backup engine. And as he said, you're just going down like a parachute and you don't fall like a brick. So now onto the pros and cons of the Pal V Liberty. The con, the first thing that I can tell you, it's not family friendly. This car is just a two seater. So if you have a family of four, you cannot travel together because you have to actually pack light. There's not really a space where you can put your big luggage for a week vacation. Or your kids. <laughs> We can, we can leave you home, no worries. <laughs> and then there's the maintenance. If you're a do-it-yourselfer kind of guy or gal, you're not actually allowed to do any of your own maintenance on this vehicle. So if you're a weekend warrior or whatever, that's out of the question. Let's get to the pros. One of the pros is that because it's like a car, you can park everywhere just like a regular car you can go in a garage you can put it in front of your door you can i don't know put it at the mall whatever don't expect to pack too much groceries because <laughs> the cargo space is slim to none i didn't want to put that as a con because it can still fly but yeah just keep that in mind as we said before, the fuel economy is amazing at 1,325 kilometers if you're driving A to B or four to 500 kilometers if you're in the air. Besides that, you also have the freedom. You can fly. I mean, you don't have to go to the airport, as I said, and stand in line. You just think like, oh, I want to take off, flap out those propellers and take off. <laughs> Speaking of flying and driving, you could drive to your neighborhood gas station and put regular gasoline, car gasoline in this flying car and fly away or drive around town. I mean, because you put regular gasoline in it, that also makes it that you can go anywhere in the world and put in gas at any kind of gas station. You also get to be your own pilot, which brings us to the toss up round. <laughs> so for the toss up round, we're going to do something. Your head, I'm till you're poor. I'm rich. <laughs> so we're going to flip this coin. Oops. No, I think that's till. This is till and I'm rich. What we're going to talk about is the affordability. Since I'm rich, it's not a problem for me. This car is 300,000 euros. That's the base model Pal V Liberty that you can get is 300,000 euros. Since you're heads, would you be able to afford that? I'm broke, baby. <laughs> nah. Okay, all right. So in all seriousness, everyone knows the Cessna. The Cessna is a plane that's been around. Everyone in America knows the Cessna. The plane's been around for like 50 or 60 years. They cost 300,000 or so or 200,000 brand new. A lot of people have them, even people that aren't quote unquote rich and can't afford a Bugatti or a Ferrari as a daily driving car. But they own a Cessna because they have a pilot license and they love to fly. So this car would be a perfect mix of the two if you wanted to stretch your budget for a plane car, which brings us to the certificate. The certificates. For this car, you do need a certificate. You do need your driver license, of course, but you also need a flying certificate. If you can afford to buy this car, you can afford to pay for those classes because those classes aren't cheap. They are about 20,000 euros. <laughs> and then you have your certificate and you're able to Okay, that's it. Yes, but if you think about it from a standpoint like us as a couple, if we owned the Pal V Liberty, maybe one or both of us would have to drive on a particular round trip excursion somewhere. Okay, on the ground, yes, we both have licenses, but in the air, we would both have to have licenses, which will cost us 40,000 euros. Being on the forefront of just having something so amazing and epic and futuristic you'd love to have it and to be honest we saw the car 
like we said, we got to meet with Marco and he was amazing. He explained to us all the safety features of it. In the beginning, you were scared when you asked me, would you go on a trip in the air if they asked you to? I said no. He, he said no right away. And after the meeting, he was like, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to take that car. Yeah. Well, up in the air. Like and subscribe to find out more. <laughs> So that's it for now. Stay tuned for more. We've already been invited for another super exclusive and special event. And we're going to bring that to you guys firsthand. So if you want to see more, like and subscribe. Don't forget to put that bell thing on. So oh, that's, if you, that's when you link to another video. The bell notification is down here. It's underneath the video.